Good morning, viewers, and welcome to this week's motivational moment. For the past two weeks, I've been talking about hope, and I want to end that series with this famous scripture in Jeremiah 29, verse 11. And it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans of welfare and not evil. Plans to give you a future and a hope. Well, wow. God has a good plan for you. And if you don't know that God has a good future for you, you will embrace a bad future by believing the lies of the enemy. That word welfare means peace. And that word peace is the Hebrew word shalom. It means completeness, safety, soundness in mind and body, welfare, peace, health, quiet, tranquility, contentment, friendship, and prosperity. God is literally speaking to us and said, look, my plans for you are to prosper you. If only you will believe that we serve a God who delights in the prosperity of his people. God's plan for you is not evil. That word evil means wickedness. It means affliction. It means trouble. It means ill favored. It means harm. It means grievous. It means sad. That's not the God we serve. And I don't know why people think that God puts sickness on, on his children to teach them something, but no, that's not God's character. Everything about God is good and he delights in prospering you. His plan for you is for you to have welfare, for you to prosper and move forward and succeed in life. And that's what gives us hope. So as I round this series, please stay hopeful, stay expectant. God has a great plan for you. And if you can seek him with all your heart, you will find it. God's plans are always good because we serve a good God. <laughs> I am Pastor Phil, and this is my motivational moment. God bless you.